All right, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you're all doing well. Um, obviously, it's been a hot minute. I think it's been about three or four months at this point since I've done any sort of main video. I post a couple shorts just about uh, things I've been doing. Well, not even about it, just some football stuff that I've filmed. Anyway, I uh, just wanted to start off by saying uh, thank you everyone who stuck around, left me comments, uh, left me nice comments, tag me in things that you've been making, uh, requesting things. Uh, yeah, just really appreciate it, so thank you very much. Um, I've been wanting to get back into doing videos for a little while. Um, I don't know if you've read my community post, but uh, basically just having a bunch of PC issues recently. I think they're kind of fixed, but uh, it's just one of them things where I've needed a new PC for a long time anyway, so it's something that I need to do next year. Uh, so anyway, this video is going to be... Um, uh, another Tactica cutting one. Uh, I made this a few months ago. I did an After Effects tutorial about it. Um, but I had a commenter, uh, I believe his name's Drifty. He commented a few times asking if I could do uh, a Premiere one because obviously not everyone has access to After Effects. Um, to be honest, I kind of procrastinated a bit on this because I was thinking, like, what is the best way to do this? Uh, so I've been kind of just messing about with it this afternoon. And I think I've come up with quite an easy way to do it. As you can see, I've been uh, messing about with some stuff here. Uh, but what I like to do with these videos is make them kind of like, I don't want to say as lazy as possible, but that is essentially it. Like, I, I personally, I know, like, when I watch some videos, and I realize I'm rambling right now, um, but you watch these videos and it's like, okay, we're going to go do this tutorial. And it's like, oh, yeah, by the way, download this plugin, download this thing. And it's kind of like, I like to kind of keep my After Effects and Premiere and stuff like that like as clean as possible because I don't ever want to get to a point where just one day like the plugin doesn't work or it's not available anymore or this, that, the other. Um, so anyway, uh, links for the assets will be in the description as always, uh, Google Drive. Um, but yeah, so for this, I've got two files made up. So we've got one which is called Flames Blank AVI. Uh, apologies in advance for it being an AVI file because they're quite big for like a three second one. But I figured again, it would just make it easy because as you can see, it's just an already transparent background. You're not having to key things out, key in stuff out and doing track mats at the same time also can cause issues. But the flames blank is essentially what it sounds like. It is the flame effect, but there is no image in it. Uh, and the next file that you need to download is the flame mask, which as you can see is the inside of it. Uh, now drag these on the timeline. What you want to do is put the flames blank at the background and the flames mask, uh, leaving at least one space between it. You can choose whatever tracks you want to go on, obviously, if you've got stuff underneath it. Uh, but this is essentially it. So you wanted to sandwich it between your uh, whatever you wanted to put as the, the image in it. Uh, so for this case, I've got a, a cutout that I drew of myself. Like it's on some videos and stuff like that. Uh, so this is an ideal thing because this is pretty similar to what they use in the game. Uh, so yeah, so this is like I said, this is how you want to have it. So flames blank at the bottom, flame mask at the top. And then whatever your image is or video is in the middle. Like I say, it doesn't matter what track you put this on. Because um, like I say, if you wanted to have like... If you've got some sort of project beneath it, that's all cool. Uh, so then this is the bit that I was kind of messing about with. Uh, I won't go through the full process of this, that, the other. Basically though, what you need to do is take your PNG image or your video image, the middle one. You're going to right click that and you're going to nest it. Uh, it basically works the same way as like pre-composing things in uh, After Effects because what I found out, again, because I've not really used Premiere and After Effects recently, but if you put a track mat on a layer just straight away, um, you can't really mess about with the size and the position of things. It will just kind of completely mess it up. Um, so what I'm going to do, this image is kind of a little bit smaller than it needs to be so what i'm going to do just for demonstration purposes is i'm going to blow this up uh, get rid of this previous sequence as well so obviously this is way too big now but once we put the track mat onto it put the track mat onto that layer and then um you want to switch the mat to whatever the layer is above it so in this case it's video three boom that's it that's basically job done um, but why we had to nest the sequence is if we have this image here um, and if we didn't nest that sequence and just put the file straight in, then put the track mat on it, 
you can't actually move the image about or scale it properly. Um, it won't be in the confines of the actual like mask layer. It'll basically just go outside of it. Um, so now this way, because we've got it nested, we can now scale this down a bit. We can move it. So I'm going to just kind of move it half off screen. You can see that it is still, even though it's off screen, it is still confined within the so a mask layer. So if I just turn that off just again, just for you can see there that this is kind of what it does if you don't nest the sequence. Um, I'll just hide that a sec. But yeah, like I said, this um, this mask layer is like kind of already designed to fit exactly within this uh, white flame here. So you always want your image to be inside that, otherwise it's going to look weird. So like I say, if you don't have the um, the image or the video nested in the middle you can't do the movement um or the scaling it, it won't be confined properly with within the uh the flames so that's basically it um i say a lot of rambling apologies for that uh one last thing as well if you do uh have like you know a full project that you're doing and you're wanting to use this multiple times you can just uh end up nesting this whole sequence as well so you've got a nested sequence with a nested sequence but then that just makes it easy to drag around you're not dragging around three layers all the time um but yeah that's it uh so thanks for waiting on this one drifty uh, and anyone else that might have been waiting on it um like i say i will be doing some more videos i'd say semi-frequently my usual frequency which is not very frequent anyway but uh try and get more into it um I did have a few people leave some uh, recommendations or stuff they wanted to see, but I wasn't quite sure what they wanted. So again, just drop a comment below this one. Uh, tag me in a video or something that, that you want to see me do. Uh, like I say, I would like to do some more Persona 3 stuff. I've seen some people about some Metaphor stuff, but I've not played that game yet. Um, anyway, yeah, I'll stop rambling now. So thanks a lot, guys, and I will see you next time.